Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Muhammad Farizul Fadli Bazulkan Nain We are from group 2 We will present about the assignment of measurement First is multimeter technology The interaction is The Jacquard's Asnavel pattern the moving coil galvanometer Permanent magnet moving coil is PMMC instrument moving movement different as a de meter movement Basic meter movement used in DC measurement can be traced on hands or third discovery in 1820. Permanent magnet moving coil is electromagnetic instrument. Next, operating principle of PMMC. <coughs> the operating principle of PMMC is based on the interaction between permanent magnet and movement coil of wire. Movement of the coil within the magnetic field generates a voltage EMF which is proportional of the current flowing through it. Movement of the coil is caused by current flowing through it, which creates a magnet field that interacts with the permanent magnet. The interaction between the two magnet fields cause the coil to move, which generates a voltage. Next is DC emitter. Chemist and engineer Edward Weston in New Jersey developed the industry standard emitter. Western invention included the development of stable permanent magnet and unique magnetic material. <coughs> the magnetic the magnetic had a very stable resistor value, allowing Western meters to remain precise. Shannon Banger, Thompson, and other innovators improved of Western design to create better meters. The emitter is connected in series. Advantages of emitter. Precise measurement are designed to provide highly accurate measurement of current. Safety emitters can be used to measure current without the risk of electrical shock or damage. 3. Easy to use. Emitters are relatively simple to operate, making them a convenient tool for measuring current. Next is DC voltmeter. The voltmeter is connected in parallel with the current. This is the design of DC voltmeter. Advantages of voltmeter Voltmeter can be used to measure voltage in wide range of electrical circuit. Voltmeter are generally inexpensive and widely available, making them a cost-effective solution for many voltage measuring, measurement, to, measurement needs. Voltmeter are small and lightweight, making them easy to transport and use in varieties of location. Multimeter. The first multimeter was invented in the early 20th century by an American named Donald McCady. It was called AVO and was primarily used for measuring resistance. Ability to measure, measure voltage and current. Analog versus digital. Digital, dig, digital multimeter is digital display. Analog multimeter display with moving needle on the scale. More responsive, let us respond than digital. Automatically select range, manual, manually select the range. Advantage multimeter. A multimeter can be used to measure a wide range electrical parameters. Allow to safety measure electric parameters without the risk of electric shock. A multimeter can be used as a diagnosis problem in electrical circuit. Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Dinish Azri and I will present about oscilloscope technology. So, oscilloscope is invented by a French physicist, which is André Blondel, who built and represented the first electromechanical oscilloscope in 1893. A big step in the development of oscilloscope was made in 1897, when a German physicist, which is Carl Ferdinand Brown, invented a cathode ray tube, CRT. A British company called AC Cosser, which was the first company in the world that adapted this technology, presented their first oscilloscope in 1930. So, the oscilloscope is an electron beam voltmeter. The head of the oscilloscope is the CRO, which makes the applied signal visible by reflection of thin beams of electrons. The electron has no weight and no inertia, therefore, the beam of electrons can be moved to follow varying at the rate of million time of seconds. Thus, the electric beam follows rapid variation in signal voltage and traces a visible path on the CRT screens. So, in this way, variation 
Possession or transients are reproduced and operator can be observed. The waveform as well as measure amplitude at any time. It can be used in any field where a parameter can be converted into a professional voltage for observation. There is two types of oscilloscope, which is analog oscilloscope and digital oscilloscope. For analog oscilloscope, it directly applies a voltage being measured to an electro beam moving across the oscilloscope screen. Second one, the voltage deflects the beam up and down proportionally, tracing the waveform on the screen. This is this gives this give an immediate picture of the waveform. For the digital oscilloscope, it samples the waveform and use an analog to digital converter to convert the voltage being measured into digital information. It uses this digital information to reconstruct the waveform on the screen. There are advantages between analog and digital oscilloscope. For analog, people re prefer analog when to display rapidly varying signals in real time, while digital, it allows to capture and view events that may happen only once, and it can process the digital waveform data or send the data to a computer processing. The last one, it can store the digital waveform data for later viewing and printing. So this is actually the basic cathode ray tube construction, you can see it. There are three main components in architecture of CRT. The first one is electron gun, which to provide steam of electrons. Second one is horizontal and vertical deflecting plates that control the path of the electron beam. The last one is phosphorescent screen which glows visibly when struck by electron beam. So the measurement of oscilloscope. The range of application of an oscilloscope varies from the basic voltage measurement and waveform observation to highly specialist application in all areas of science, engineering and technology. So there are three measurements in oscilloscope, which is voltage, frequency, and this first one is voltage measurement. The most direct voltage measurement made with oscilloscope is the peak to peak value. The RMS value can be easily calculated from the peak to peak value. The equation can be derived by voltage over division times number of division over one. For the period, the Equation can be derived by time over division times no of division over cycle. The last one is frequency. The measurement of repetitive waveform period can be used to calculate the signal, the signal frequency, which is F equal to 1 over T. So there is another method to measure the frequency, which is Lissage's pattern methods. The, this is the analytic alternative way of using oscilloscope to measure frequency. The equation can be derived with number of positive peaks over number of right hand side peaks. So this is the latest technology of oscilloscope which is the Teledyne Lecroy HDO 4054A bench oscilloscope. The price will be at 131,000. That's all for me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum, my name is Muhammad Kamil Bezainal So today I will present about the sensor and transducer technology The first one I will talk about the thermistor The thermistor basic construction is It is made up of two or more semiconductor powder made of metallic oxide And it is available in a variety of shape and size And the most actual design of a thermistor is very dependent upon the suitability of the application and the thermistor can come as a flat disk used in application where they need to be in contact with the flat surface. Next is working principle of the thermistor. It is less complex and can easily understand. Their, res their resistance is depend on their temperature. Ohmmeter is used to measure the res resistance of a thermistor. The relationship between how change in the temperature will affect the resistance of the thermistor. The amount to which the resistance change depends on the type of material used in the thermistor. And finally, the relationship between the thermistor temperature and resistance is non-linear. So this is the parameter equation conversion for thermistor. Where the T1 is the first temperature point, T2 is the second temperature point, R1 is the thermistor resistance at temperature, and R2 is the thermistor resistance at temperature T2. So the next one is the application for thermistor, where it is divided into two 
uh, application. The first one is domestic. The first microwave or boilers. Thermistor monitor the internal temperature and ensure it does not doesn't come become too hot. Second one is the circuit protector where the thermistor controls surge of power and ensure the correct amount. Next is digital thermometer where the thermometer often use thermistor as the temperature sensing element. For the commercial, it is a vehicle cabin heat. It is to ensure the vehicle stay at the correct temperature. And the next, HVAC refrigeration application where the thermistor are used to measure building and control process. And finally, it is a 3D printers where the thermistor are used to regulate temperature as they must be controlled precisely. So, I will go to the next uh, sensor which is thermocouple. The basic construction of thermocouple is it is come in several different construction type. Thermocouple lead are protected by a layer insulation and often have protective sheet. It is divided into three construction. The first one is exposed thermocouple, where it is low for small sensor with direct heat transfer from the major object. The second one is grounded thermocouple, where it is low for heat transfer but adds an extra protection for harsh and difficult environment. And the third one is ungrounded thermocouple, where it is isolated from the sheet adding a layer of insulation between the thermocouple and to measure the object. This type of thermocouple has the slowest of the temperature response because there is an isolation layer. So this is the parameter equation conversion for thermocouple. EMS if the, is the voltage output of the thermocouple, while S is the temperature dependent material property. For T cold is the temperature of the cold junction and the T hot is the temperature of the hot junction. So this is the working principle for the thermocouple. It is divide, divided into to three effects. The first one is C back effect where this type of effect occur among the two dissimilar metals. When the heat offered to any one of the metal wire, then the flow of electrons supply from hot metal wire to cold metal wire and it is direct current stimulate. Second one is Peltier effect. It is opposite to the C back effect. Effect state that the difference of the temperature can be formed among any two dissimilar conductor. So the last effect is Thomson effect, where it state that as two dis disparate metal fixed together, then the voltage induce the vol total conductor length. This is a physical word that demonstrate the change in rate and duration of temperature. The application of thermocouple is they are used as the temperature sensor in thermostat in office, homes, office and business. Second one is they are, these are used in industry for monitoring temperature. The third one is they are used in the food industry for cryogenic and low temperature application. The fourth is used to test temperature in chemical plant. And finally, uh, they are used in gas machine for detecting the pilot flame. So thank you. That's all for me.